Hey guys, it's Toby, and we're going to be building a gaming PC for £500. Let's go! Alright, first of all we're going to be using AMD FX6300. This is a 6 core processor clocked at 3.5GHz. Now, this is arguably one of the best processors in the world right now in terms of price and performance. You get a lot of value for your money here. If you're doing anything that's CPU intensive, such as video editing, rendering, any Photoshop stuff, any stuff in Creative Suite, it will work really well with that. And as well as this, if you're gaming, if you're playing a CPU intensive game such as Metro Last Light, it will perform really well there too. As well as this, there is no integrated GPU in this processor, which means we'll get a dedicated graphics card and we'll come onto that later in the build. Also, since this is a Black Edition CPU, you, that means it's unlocked, so you can overclock this from its base clock of 3.5GHz all the way up to like 5 and beyond. However, if you're planning on overclocking beyond, say, 4.1, which is its turbo boost clock straight out of the box, um, you should really consider getting an aftermarket CPU cooler. We're not including one in this build, but we'll link to one below in the description. Moving on to the motherboard, we have an Asus M5A97R 2.0 motherboard. This is a pretty standard motherboard, it has all the connectivity ports you want, such as USB 3.0, SATA 3.0, um, everything you need really. Your usual PCI slots, it can also support SLI graphics cards if you plan on doing that in the future. Um, there's no PCI 3.0 because it's almost impossible to find an AM3 Plus motherboard with one of those. However, PCI 2.0 is really good enough as well, you will not notice any drop in performance at all. As well as this, this motherboard also has a UEFI BIOS, which means you can easily overclock and tweak the settings of your RAM and your processor without a problem at all. Coming on to the graphics card, we're going to be getting a GTX 760. This one here is from Asus, it's a DirectCU 2 model. It's got 2 gigs of GDDR5, which will be more than enough for most games. Um, it can support almost everything you can throw at it, to be honest. Crisis 3 can run at a high, uh, maybe very high, maybe not, not ultra, because it will be too intensive for this graphics card. Uh, but most games like Battlefield 4 will run at ultra without a problem at all. Call of Duty Ghost, uh, Minecraft, anything really. It will work really well. This is one of the best graphics cards in terms of price and performance and it's also the best selling graphics card on Amazon right now. An alternative to the GTX 760 will be the AMD R9 270X. The one we have here is from Asus and again it will perform almost exactly the same as the GTX 760 give or take a couple of frames in certain games and you'll get more or less the same kind of performance. This one has 2 gigs of GDDR5 as well and it's clocked slightly higher but again you'll get negligible differences between both cards. It's really up to you if you prefer AMD or Nvidia. For the RAM we're going to be using 8 gigs of G-Skill DDR3, it's clocked at 2133 MHz which is really fast. Uh, 8 gigs is a pretty much a standard now, you don't really need more than that in this build. If you want you can add uh, another stick of 8 or maybe another stick of 4 later on to give you 12 or 16 gig it will work perfectly, but this is more than enough for most programs and most games and you don't really need more than that. The hard drive, we're going to be using a 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. It's a good drive, it's really reliable, it's going to give you all the space that you need for your games, music, videos, etc. If you need more space, you can get a 2TB drive for about £50. If you need less, you can get a 500 gig hard drive for about £30, £35 maybe. But this should be more than enough for our build. If you already have a hard drive, you can get an SSD instead. The one we have here is from Kingston. It's only 60 gigs because that's around the same price point as the internal hard drive we showed before. However, you could spend a little bit more and get 120 gig, but you should really only get this if you already have an internal hard drive. Coming onto the power supply, we're going to be using a Corsair CX500. This is a 500 watt power supply, which will be more than enough for our build. It's non modular. If you want the modular one, it would be about £5 to £10 extra but this will perform as well as the module one without a problem at all. As well as this, it's 80 plus bronze certified, which means we get clean and efficient energy. If you plan on upgrading in the future, say throwing in another graphics card or upgrading the processor, this would be more than enough of that as well. And if you're overclocking, this would be good enough for that too. And finally, coming onto the case, we have an Antec 1 MIDI tower case. It's ATX form factor, it will support our build, it will support our graphics card, it will support the motherboard, it will support everything that we need in there and it's really spacious and has great airflow. It's also got front panel USB 3.0 which we also have on our motherboard so you'll get that connectivity as well and all in all it's just a really nicely designed case. An alternative case will be the Thermaltake Commander USB 3.0 Snow Edition. We've mentioned this before in our £600 build, it's a really nice case and if you want something that's more visually appealing you can probably get this case instead. It's also got a window and it's also pretty much the same as the any other ATX case you'll find in the market, this is just designed differently. It performs really well and it's got good airflow and it's got front panel USB, everything that we need in our build. And yeah, that's it. That's it guys, thanks for listening. Leave us a like if you like this video. 
leave us some feedback down below in the comments. Uh, check out the links in the description below for more product information and alternative build videos if you want to spend more money or less money. If you plan on buying any or all of these components, please use the links in our description as they'll really help us grow. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you next time.